Hello, my name is Bethany Tyree and I'll be doing a presentation on Mao Yushi. Mao Yushi is a self-declared liberal economist and one of China's most outspoken reformers. Yushi is known by a traitor to some, but also a national hero. It really depends on how you view his standings and his critiques in his papers and writings. And before we start, I apologize for any mispronunciations of names or, or areas throughout this presentation. Mao Yushi was born in Beijing in 1929. He was born to a railway engineer, so when he went to college he studied mechanical engineering and later became a railway engineer himself. As he continued on in his life, he was sent to a labor reform camp because he was a rightist. He was subject to abuse during the Cultural Revolution and the culture movement. The culture movement was set into motion and enforced the communist ideology. And when Mao Yushi didn't agree to it, he did not bend. Later on, when he got out of the camp, he was influenced to look into economics. Using his past years of schooling, like in math and reading when he was studying to become a um, mechanical engineer at Xiaotong University and then Xiaotong University in Shanghai, he took that information that he learned and he also attended workshops and other educational programs and began to refine his education on economics. He also began to work in economics without a formal education, which was frowned upon by many. They viewed him as somebody who was not worth their time because he didn't know everything there was to know because he didn't have a degree in it. But that didn't ever stop Miyayushi. He continued to post his works and has published many papers and essays enforcing his ideas of what the economy should look like, as well as he continues to run a blog that posts every so often about how he views the economy should be. Now, Yushi also has one specific paper that we'll talk about real quick. It's Returning Mao Zedong to Human Form. Mao Zedong was one of the leaders in the cultural movement, and it's probably one of Mao, Ze Mao Yushi's least favorite people in the world. Mao Yushi doesn't agree to Mao Zedong's doings and thinks that they're wronging everybody. So he, his paper actually got removed from on online websites because it was an act of, of being a traitor. But he hasn't stopped writing, so that's good. And also his writings can still be found everywhere despite them being taken down. He was also one of the main signers of an open letter demanding the release of the economic impact assessment of the Nujang hydroelectric project. He thought that it was wrong and the project was suspended until a scale down, a scale down plan was adopted. Now Yushi is known for his controversial remarks that not everybody agrees with, making him either a traitor or a national treasure. He founded the Unirol Institute of Economics, and he is now an honorary chairman of there. He set up a fund for a long, long Tukon that offered interest fee loans for interest free loans for medical and educational needs and other small businesses. Miao was also a prominent critic of the Three Gorges Dam. He viewed the he argued that the project was unjustified and without regard to expert objections, and that in all it was serving few's interests rather than millions of welfare, millions of people's welfare. And they actually are working on it, but I think it's going good for Miao Yushi. Miao Yushi is a good representation of what we have learned in economics this semester, as well as what we learned in government class last semester. He represents some key aspects. In chapter 5, we learned that people's hatred toward risk and how it affects the economy. 
with a communist, you don't really have any risk in the economy because it's all his decision and not really anybody else's. But, you know, Yushi is still fighting against it. In chapter 9, we discuss decision making and how it should and it shows here that Yushi's decisions affect others as well, even if he just writes them on a piece of paper. And there's many more I could go on about, but it seems I'm running out of time. So all in all, Mao Yushi is a grand example of how macroeconomics that we learned in our textbook translate to real-life economics. Thank you, and my works cited are right here. Bye. Thank you.